In 90 minutes, you can get away with scaring people three or four times. Get back in the car! <laughs> For something like this, over 10 hours, the rules are very different. <laughs> There's something in the house! I want to build a sense of tension and to sustain it as long as possible. I want to see you guys scared this entire time, okay? Horror has been changing. It got to a point where the genre was content just to startle people. Now we're seeing audiences are much more sophisticated. In our show, I wanted to go back to when horror was actually about something much more profound than just being afraid. One of the things that I believe is that our lives are full of ghosts. I think they take a lot of forms and they can be regrets and memories and shame and grief and guilt and all sorts of things. For an audience, it's about forcing them to look at things that are uncomfortable in the safe space that the genre creates. Working with Mike Flanagan has been absolutely great. He brings a great spirit to the set, and he spent a lot of time thinking about this story and thinking about how he was going to film it visually. He's going to come forward. He doesn't flinch out this way. He has a really unique way into horror. It's very true to the genre, but he will always go for a more complex character and a deeper version of something. He is the true definition of an auteur. He knows the material in and out to the point where if anyone is sometimes slightly confused, he always has an answer. The way you move the camera and what you show and what you don't show is the fundamental notion that what you don't see is scarier than what you do. Mike envisioned that from day one. He did this by framing carefully, by planning what kind of camera moves, show us what, when. He has a lot of red meat in this for horror fans. I have to tell you something. Your mother, she was not sick. She wasn't crazy, and neither are you. I hope audiences will absolutely embrace a truly complex human story that happens to be wrapped in the skin of horror. You know what I'm talking about. Don't pretend that you don't. You know, I gotta ask. Folks around town, they've always talked about this place. What? Is it haunted? You know.